Hello, peoples. So, first and foremost, I want to apologize if, like, my talking, my speaking sounds, uh, kind of gnarly, <laughs> because, um, I have a sore throat, so talking is just something I shouldn't be doing right now, but I just felt like filming, so it's whatever. So I just wanted to get on here to talk about social media and just like the impact it has on life. So like recently I logged out of Facebook and I logged out of Instagram. I hardly was ever active on Snap and Twitter, I just check it every now and then. But anyways, so it's just weird because when you're on social media, it's like, that's the only life that you're living. Like, I notice, like, every time I hang out with some friends, like, it's always, like, a face to their phone, and, and then they'll talk about something that they saw on the phone, and that's something that was, that they saw, like, around them. And this isn't the case all the time, but it's very common. <laughs> ridiculous so I recently decided that I was going to take a break from social media just because I was guilty of that too I was always uh, trying to live my life through somebody else's life seeing how they're always up, what they're always up to comparing my life to theirs just like <clears throat> being so confused by everything because I'm like why is my life not going like theirs why haven't I found this person why haven't I achieved this yet and it really takes a takes a toll on you emotionally and mentally because it seems that life is like a race to get to the finish so you have to get married you have to get that big job that's going to save you your entire life. You got to get a nice house. You got to start a family and all that stuff. And some people just don't get there as quick as others. Some people, it takes longer. And I mean, it makes you feel like shit all the time. For a long time, I always just compared my life to somebody else's life. Like, oh, this person's got a significant other and they've been together for a long time. This person's having a kid. This person got married. This person moved into an apartment and with their love of their life and they got a new car and they're starting a family. It's just, there's so much pressure for you to make your life this extravagant thing and you have to show your friends because you know you want to show off your success and that's great but there's going to be always that one person on the side who's just like why isn't my life like that and then they forget what they could do to better their own lives and so that's kind of what it is for me is because you know I've always been the one to just always compare myself to somebody else's life. I just always thought like, oh, I haven't done this yet. That means I'm not a functioning adult. And to be honest, I am not. There's a lot of things I don't know about life yet. And I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah, I decided to take a break from social media and I decided to just focus on myself, do things to better my own life. And I don't need to be living in somebody else's shadows and feel like I have to do this to be up to par with them. And it is embarrassing. It really is. There's a lot of things that I haven't done yet that seem super embarrassing and it makes me feel like shit all the time. Like all my friends, like... They're still... They, they were able to drive at a young age and me I tried it I fucked up 
I was terrified, but I feel like taking this time to not worry about how other people are doing and just work on making myself better. Maybe it will help me because every single time I go to work, I'm always embarrassed that somebody's gonna see me and they're gonna be like, oh, you're 21 and you haven't fucking learned how to drive yet? It's not that I don't want to learn how to drive. I mean, I, it kind of is like that. It's because I'm scared of it. My fear is preventing me from wanting to drive. And, you know, I have to just face my fears. That's the only way I can really uh, overcome it. I just have to think about all the benefits that would get out of me doing that. I don't really know what else to talk about other than like social media is like a distraction from your own life. There are people that can balance it, like their personal life and their social life, but I'm pretty sure there's at least one time in everybody's mind when they're on social media comparing themselves to somebody else. I realized Ever since I got like super into social media, I've been more focused on famous people. I've been focused on celebrities' lives and what they're doing with their lives than focusing on my own life. And you know, it sucks because I wanna progress. I wanna, like I see the celebrities as like inspiration to like work hard to get to where they are, but I never just want to focus on me getting there. I always just want to focus on like what the celebrities doing when they woke up. Like, what are they doing today? Like, what's their plans the next months? What's their next move to like up their fame? And it shouldn't be like that. I know that like me personally, since I do music independently and everything's done by me, it's hard because like, I have to be on social media to like do most of the marketing because that's what that's like social media is a big 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 part of marketing now it's not like sitting outside and handing mixtapes to friends anymore like I mean I've never done that anyway I've thought about it but since social media has such a huge platform for like tons of careers regarding like uh, music, art, businesses in general, it's always just something to advertise. And social media right now is one of the biggest ways to get advertised. There's people that get paid to advertise somebody else's business. You have to like pay to make business. You have to spend money to earn money. That's something I learned about investments. And yeah, it's difficult. It's very hard, especially when you're doing it by yourself and you're trying to kind of stray away from social media. You're trying to not get so influenced by it and revolve your life around it. And yeah, I mean, I just want to be more personable. Personal, personable, one of those words, approachable, I don't know. Because I'm always just like head and phone, Sometimes, like, whenever I'm going somewhere, I'll be so enamored with the whatever I'm watching or whatever I'm doing on my phone that there's times when I run into shit. There's times when I, like, there was a time I got my lip busted because I was looking at my phone instead of looking at my surroundings, and it hit me right in my upper lip, and it fucked my mouth up for, like, a good week or two. Or when I ran into a pole, you know, like, I mean, that can honestly be my fault that I'm not like looking around a lot. But the fact of the matter is I was staring at my phone at something on Facebook and I was not paying attention to anything around me, you know? I'm not saying that like social media is like evil or anything like that, but it, it's nice to just take a break from it every now and then. Just to like, like figure out what you wanna do with your day. Figure out how you feel I mean, 
social media is a big way to connect with people. But I mean, if you want to, I don't know, make more personal relationships with people, personal friendships, all that stuff, then just get their number, call them up to hang out, you know, like if they're in town or they live in the same city as you, just try to schedule something like that. Because in my opinion, a personal interaction is more effective than one on like a, f like a text, like <sighs> fucking texting. Oh man. I mean, I'm gonna have to do a lot of texting now because of my, my voice and my sore throat, but like, I prefer to call. I prefer to talk in person. I prefer to like see people's reactions, read their body language, you know, just try and fully engage with somebody. Like, see if they want to make eye contact. I mean, I'm not the best at eye contact. Like, I'll just like stare right here with people when I'm talking to them, just because I'm still, I still have that anxiety of staring at somebody in the, in the eyes. But if you're at least making that effort, it will be a million times more effective than just like seeing somebody in public and then you just immediately look down at your phone just to avoid that kind of interaction. I mean, I could just ramble on for hours about this shit. Um, all I'm saying is like, for right now, I'm just gonna mo mainly focus on myself, do things to better myself. I mean, I will co stay in contact with people. That's if like the effort is made on both ends. I mean, I'm really known to like, at least say that I'm doing something or like, after I finish doing it, I'll be like, oh, hey, sorry, I was at work. Do you have time to talk now? And stuff like that. But I don't know, it feels good so far. I haven't done it for that long. I mean, I got off Facebook like about a week ago, maybe, or like a couple days ago. And I logged out of Instagram and shit yesterday, so I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know when I'm gonna post this video, to be honest. I'm recording it right now, and I'm saying that like I want to release it on like in like mid January or like early February and stuff like that, but you know, maybe I'll do a progress video. So I'll record this one today, edit it and then I'll post it tomorrow as like a beginning of the year thing. I kind of want to do this, uh, this whole video thing more often just because I get to like speak out to something that's not saying anything. And there's no like person in here listening to me. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be private. I mean, it's gonna be on YouTube, but this is just a way of like me being more comfortable with talking and like expressing how I feel. Cause usually it's always just me being the happy go lucky guy that like doesn't really have fucking problems and fucking likes to laugh a lot. But at the end of the day, there is a lot of stuff on my mind and I want to be able to just tackle it head on, face whatever demons I have and just, uh, take take it take it over just fucking wreck it but yeah i mean i'm gonna do videos that are funny i'm gonna do videos that are serious you know i'm not really gonna like base it on like every single video being oh what do my fans want to see or oh what does this person want to see i mean i'm gonna make videos just because i want to and it's like a therapy for me, but I'll also do entertaining stuff, you know? Maybe I'll do a video on about like my process for making music, like what, what makes it sound good to me, like writing lyrics, recording vocals, mixing. Uh, I'll even like, add, like tell people how to like distribute their music, you know? Like there's people out there that I want to help when it comes to music, like I want to get you guys on Apple Music. I want to get you on iTunes, like I like I am. I mean, like 
it's not like a huge difference compared to like being on SoundCloud and stuff, but I'm gonna leave that for like another video because this is not the video for it. Anyways, taking a break from social media. I'm gonna stay on YouTube though because entertainment is enjoyable. Sometimes I like to just relax and watch a video about something, whether it be like a satisfying compilation or like something about music production, something about scary movies. Like these are things that I figured out in myself and it took talking, <laughs> talking to myself to just realize that there are things that I like and I like to do things that I like instead of just like always seeing what other people are doing. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here. I'm gonna edit it and I'll post it up tomorrow. In the meantime, thank you all for watching and just listening to me rant about bullshit. Peace out.